days to do so or face sanctions which include a freeze on disbursement of funds. Commissioner on Administrative Justice Chair Florence Kajuju says they will be submitting the list of public entities to the National Treasury if they do not adhere to the requirements of the Access of Information Act. Mid last year, President Uru Kenyatta issued an executive order that requires all government agencies to publish full details of tenders. On Monday, Deputy President William Ruto warned public bodies that they were yet to comply to follow the law of budget cuts. We are giving these institutions a warning. We are putting them on notice that within the next 30 days that information must be availed. If it doesn't, we are allowed by the law to write to Treasury and tell Treasury there is no point of releasing resources to these particular counties because they seem to be operating in secrecy is if you are to succeed as a country, as institutions, in fighting corruption and ensuring that Kenyans get value for the resources, you have to play this role of ensuring that we push these institutions to ensure that full disclosure, especially on issues of public procurement information, how they spend the resources, how to make decisions, must be strengthened. We need these ombudsman offices up and running in almost all 47 county headquarters so that we continue to assist the devolved units to settle in and ensure they run open and transparent governance across 47 county governments.